Hello and welcome to Wild Country Adventures. In this video, we're going to be installing a bull bar on my 12th gen F-150. The brand of bull bar, the installation is going to be the same as long as your truck has the tow hooks. If you're looking to put on a full brush guard, the process is very similar to this. If you don't have the tow hooks, you will have to cut your splash guard just a little bit to get this to mount in, but it's still a very simple install. So now, let's get it installed. So I'm going to start with a 15 millimeter socket, and I'm just going to break loose the bolts that are holding on the tow hooks. Okay, with the bolts loosened, I'm going to go ahead and just remove the bolts on both tow hooks so we can put the brackets on. Alright, now on this back bolt, you don't have to remove the back bolt all the way. There should be a slot, so once that's loose, the tow hook should pull right out. Like so. You gotta actually push it in, of course it's pulling, so when you push it in, it'll pop down this hole. With this side done, let's go ahead and get the other side off. removed, we're going to go ahead and add the mounts on that are going to mount the bow bar to the truck. Now what we're going to do is take this little notch right here and we're going to go ahead and slide that into the bolt. And then we just go ahead and replace the bolt on the front and tighten them down. Once again, we're going to take this slot and slide it into the back bolt. That's going to hold it in place, and then we're going to go ahead and put the front bolt in. Once again, leaving it loose like we did on the passenger side. Alright, once again, we want this to stay a little loose so we can line the bowl bar up. With that done, let's go ahead and add the brackets onto the bolt bar. Alright, next we're going to go ahead and add the mounting brackets onto the bolt bar itself. You want to make sure that you put the driver's side on the driver's side, the passenger side on the passenger side. It's a little backwards right now because I do have the bolt bar kind of flipped around, so it'll be turned this way when I put it on the truck. So I'm going to go ahead and slide on the lock washer first and then the flat washer. I'm gonna go ahead and line these up. So this lip right here, if you can see that lip, that will be at the bottom facing towards me. So we're gonna go ahead and screw these in. And once again, like we did with the other mounting brackets, we're gonna just leave them a little loose so we got a little wiggle room to make sure everything lines up and we get it set exactly where we want it. All right, with that on and a little loose, we're gonna go ahead and do the other side. All right, so now we got the mounting brackets on both the truck and bowl bar. Now I'm ready to go ahead and mount this to the truck. Typically, it's easiest if you got a friend or somebody there that's willing to help you kind of hold the bowl bar in place while you bolt it on. I don't have that option, so I'm going to go ahead and throw a ratchet strap up into the rafters of my garage, use that to hold the bow bar in place, and then I'll mount it on.
right, so at this point, we're ready to go ahead and get this mounted onto the truck. It looks like everything should be level when I swing it into place, so I'm going to leave it as it is. Um, what we want to do now is we're going to take one of the flat washers, slide it onto the bolt, get this lined up, put the bolt through, put the other flat washer on, get everything put together, leave it nice and loose. At that point, we'll go ahead, line everything up, tighten everything down. Okay, so now these are just not even hand tight and they're barely even on, but they're on enough. So I'm going to go ahead and put the other side on, get everything tightened up, get it lined up, remove this, and we should be good to go. Now that we've got everything lined up, we're ready to go ahead, tighten her down, and make sure we get this angle right. So, we're going to start on the driver's side, tightening these down. I'm going to use a 16 millimeter box wrench and a 16 millimeter socket. Alright, now just to make sure I get the right pitch on this, I think I'm going to go ahead and throw a jack up underneath here that can lift this up into the right position. Oh shit. After I rehook this. Okay, now that I've got the jack stands underneath, I've got everything lined up, I'm going to go ahead and tighten down this other side so I can keep this lined up at where I want it. I am apparently going to use my head to keep this position right. So, both sides are locked down. Now, at this point, I'm going to go ahead, screw down the mounts that go into the bull bar, and then I'll tighten the back two mounts that mount the bull bar to the truck, mount the plates down that go to the truck, and we should be good to go. Alright, now let's go tighten down the other side. Okay, now that we got the mounts on the bull bar tightened, I'm going to go ahead and tighten the mounts from the bull bar to the mounts from the truck, and we should be good to go. done let's do the other side all right everything should be mounted up nice and solid we can go ahead remove the jack stands and remove the straps All right, with that done, the last thing we have to do is put on the license plate. And there we have it. Nice, simple, easy install. Took all of about 45 minutes. Very quick, very easy. Don't forget to like the video and make sure you subscribe so you can be notified of the upcoming video where we add the 20 inch light bar onto the pole. Thanks for watching.